AM, Berlin time, Paris time, we're talking to Emmanuel Perrotin, legendary dealer with galleries all over the world. He um, has a, I leave the comments on uh, because maybe then it's easier to find him. He has galleries, oh, here we go, all over the world with a heavy focus. And I'm very eager to ask him on his outlook um, on the situation, on art fairs. Hello, good morning, Emmanuel. Hey, um, How are you doing? I'm sure you, you've been to the, to the Instagram of the gallery and not mine, because I was waiting, you called me. I was uh, looking you, try to find me, but I was not able to, no, to come think, in the discussion. I think I'm, I'm still in the learning curve, but I think if you leave, if you switch the comments off, uh, it's kind of not so connecting you know it's like okay. it's something, yeah but now the comments are on and i mean usually I, I prefer to switch off the comments when we go to collectors houses or artist studios because <laughs> then we then we look and then it's like um distracting to have all these texts in the in the pictures but um the two of us i i assume we're going to be more like in conversation than than looking at things so where are you so, right now and how are you doing first of all so happy to be with you thank you so much for your invitation i really appreciate because it's so hard to 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 match with the german audience and i have the feeling your public and my public are very different and uh, it's a way to to talk to new people in a way what in confinement is it's already not easy to speak to people but in addition to speak to new people it's uh, more difficult. Okay, I am in Cap Ferret. Uh, I can show you the, uh, I mean, uh, my summer house. And, Not uh, bad. Not beautiful, and, uh, beautiful but view. It's, wind it's windy, it's windy today. And uh, I will go out uh, with you, but it's quite windy. Don't, for the sound, it's not going to be so nice. Here, I'm in my, actually, I'm in my son's room. Oh, great. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, I recognize your garden. Yeah. Um, and... And tell me, um, you're, because you were mentioning the, the audience and the German, you did the Art Cologne Art Fair, right? I did the Art Cologne Art Fair in uh, maybe two or three times uh, in different period, but with no success. But I was, I was visiting Cologne Art Fair every year at the very beginning of my career when I was assistant of gallery. I was mm -hmm. taking the train to go to Cologne. And uh, uh, that was the center of the art world at this time. Uh, mm -hmm. before the, the Basel takes the lead. Uh, and uh, maybe you don't know this uh, story, but it was for tax reasons. Because uh, Germany have at this time a special uh, trick to, to get all the dealers coming there. It mm -hmm. was a, a period where it was possible not to pay VIT. And by coincidence, many gallery, uh, uh, European gallery at this time was selling a lot of works during the week of Cologne Art Fair. Mm. And uh, they, by, by coincidence, it was many deals <laughs> they have was during this week, but just for tax reason. Same and, in Brazil, uh, no? Oh, yes, certainly. Yes, except, you know, some, yes, yes, you are right. It's, a, it's the same, it's the same. It's yeah. the same. And, and, but I, I think that it's, it's pretty challenging um, for, it's pretty challenging for foreign galleries to be, to, to start the dialogue with Germany, right? It's, it's my uh, feeling. <laughs> Hello, Miss. How are you? Ich gehe da. Da kommen ganz viele Leute zu. Geh mal wieder zu deinem, zu deinem. Are you also, uh, uh, you, there are no schools in, in France as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. My, 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 my children are with me, except my uh, Berliner uh, daughters. Of course. My Berliner's yeah. daughters, she's in Berlin. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. Yes. Äh, äh, Greta, yes. ich komme gleich, ja? Wirklich, sonst frag mal die Mama. Ich bin gerade beschäftigt. <laughs> so, um, so why do you think that is the case? That because, I mean, I don't know. You It's, can uh, say the same about France, but we always did pretty well. Um, uh, no, no. Fiac. I have the feeling. I have the feeling. German galleries did well with German collectors. It's yes, not very so much well. problem. And it's very strange. It's. Uh, You know, I really love German culture. I was, uh, I was, uh, I have a children uh, with a German woman, and uh, my actual uh, wife, she's half German. Like you see, I'm very open to Germany. And uh, curiously, 
uh, when we participate to the art fair, it was always a, a kind of, we was transparent, you know, we, we, it's a, a real uh, lesson of modesty. And, uh, and we, we never get so much uh, uh, success there. Maybe I would have to try again, but... Uh, and you show uh, a lot of German artists, right? Seitz, Michael Seitzdorfer, Gregor Hildebrand. Not so much German. Yes. Kilo Heinzmann. But, um, yes, it's true. It's true, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. And, and some of them based in, in Berlin also. <laughs> Bernard Fries and Green and Draxet. Look, many, many of these artists was matching the, the audience of, uh, of Germany, but not my gallery. Yeah, but that's that's uh, that's life. We cannot be uh, uh, good everywhere, and that's why we we build collaboration with good galleries there. But you know, when I when I came come visit your art fair booth on art fairs, I noticed that obviously there is this very strong um, uh, French presence. You know, it's like, and that, but I think that's that's kind of a phenomenon also with us. You know, we go to Miami, and then of course all the Germans they stop by. Um, and say hi, you know. There's, we go, we go to places where we have affiliation and 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 um, and relationships. Um, what do you okay, think? You, you you are surprised if I'm coming to to Germany to show uh, uh, a French a French programmation. Well, certainly, it was also very Japanese and very international because my gallery have a. But this is my mission also to to promote it, many of my artists not yet very well showing in, uh, in Germany. And uh, uh, look, you know, many gallery coming to FIAC with the works of artists we already represent there. It's not so collegial. It's not so uh, useful for the French audience to see again and again the same artists they see already uh, without to bring... Look, personally, I feel important to always try to create a new territory for our artists and not just to surf on the wave created by somebody else. Well, it looks very uh, positive and nice, but it's true. Long term, it's much better to acting like that as a place to try to parasite only the, 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 the works from other people. But maybe I'm naive and maybe I need to take only advantage and uh, to go everywhere. But... Technically, I have a list of artists not yet represented by many galleries. And that was a part of my success to be able to open gallery uh, all around the world without to, with, with the possibility to open them with my own program. Because many yeah. of the artists with, I, I was showing was not yet represented by many people. I think that except, one, uh, well, except one group of artists you show. We, uh, you, 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 you take recently is Amgrin and Draxet. They have a lot of gallery, but majority of my artists uh, don't yeah. have a, a lot of gallery. Yeah, but I think I think that, uh, that naturally people bring work to an audience which is familiar with the audience because it's it's easier of a success, uh, and and that that kind mm -hmm. of leads to the question: Where do you think this this art fair development will go post post Corona? You have a prediction? Alors, we, we, we are all, many, many art dealers was thinking it was too many art fair. But it's a little bit um, um, selfish to, to feel that because when you start to be a, an established dealer and you have the choice between every art fair, it looks to you too many art fair. But imagine if you are young dealers and um, on the let's say, previous art market before the coronavirus. It was a good gate for them to open new relationship with many people. And uh, uh, it's very, we have to realize uh, um, it's still very important to have new art dealers, new people bring choice, bring options to many artists to, 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 to access to exhibition. And yes, the, the, the the big dealers can feel it's a huge race. It's too much competition. It's too difficult to be all around the world for carbon trace. For many reasons, we, we, we feel guilty a little bit to, to, to run like that. But if you place many of the major dealers all around the table, try to make the list of the fair we will want to participate and the one we will not participate the more tricky of the art dealers will not say the words during this meeting and will apply on this art fair thinking, I will do it because 
I will not have all the competition this year and I will look the best dealers of the fair. Yeah. And unfortunately, you cannot trust, you know, we are, we are in a nice relationship with majority of the art dealers, but we are in a competitive uh, uh, relationship. And don't forget for gallery, because you are every day a, a, a bigger gallery and you start to have more employees, you open London, you open many, many, you know, a big gallery in Berlin, you know, you have to give access to new clients, to your, to your assistant. You, we don't doing this gallery only for us. We're doing gallery uh, for our artists in first and not only for our most successful artists, not the more bankable, but we have always to find new uh, possibility for, for the, the artists, the more, you know, have the less success of our gallery. We have to, to spend a lot of energy for them. And for them, it's important to, to, uh, to do many art fair because you know, when you have a big list of artists, you cannot show too many artists on each booth. You know, I was doing that too long. I tried to be a better, you know, to, to, to have booths looks better. But our goal is to sell the big majority of our artists and to try to make every artist of the gallery surviving. If we do that, we, we are in our mission. We are not a museum. We are not curators. We are dealers. Try to make our artists able to produce their dream, to produce their works. And it's very important for them. We open new, new territory. We, and for our assistant, it's the same. They need new clients. They, the, the, a big part of their salary are paid by bonus, you know. And uh, they need to find new people. And we participate to our fair, not just to sell at the time of the art fair, but to create in new clients. They, new will, they will be able to build a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. And... A gallery like me, because we have gallery in uh, Seoul, Tokyo, Hong Kong, uh, Shanghai, and New York, we, 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 the, the ASEAN team taking care of all the ASEAN fair, and the, uh, uh, the, the New York team take care of the uh, uh, American continent uh, fair, so South America and North America, and the European take, for the Paris team take care of the European fair. In terms of trust, trust carbon, it's not so bad. In fact, mm -hmm. the big gallery maybe don't develop much more uh, carbon trace to a small one because we mutualize many of uh, our, let's say, the, uh, engagement for artists are mutualized for six city at the place to be only for one. Yeah, and, uh, and, and 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 tell me the your engagement in the Asian uh, in the Asian area, which is very, I mean. Uh, You said Seoul, uh, Tokyo, Shanghai, and Tokyo. Hong Kong uh, also. And Hong Kong. So yes, uh, we started in Hong Kong. You started in Hong Kong. And did you, um, did you kind of follow the interest or were you driving the interest? No, we're driving the interest. We, it was a big uh, challenge to convince my ASEAN team at the very beginning of the, fair, of the, of the, the opening of the gallery in Hong Kong to understand that. At the beginning, they were telling me, but they have no idea about this artist. They don't know anything. It's got to be too hard for us. I said, yes, but if we win that, if we, if we challenge with that, why we will come and said, oh, we are a better gallery to your Chinese gallery. Let's take the Chinese artist and let's make move them in uh, our gallery. It will be unfair. It will be unfair for the gallery there, but it will be also not so interesting. It's much better to provide them and you know and all UK, first... so you were like you were nurturing the 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 scene and 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 educate them on your artist stable yes uh, and build up a market yes. so how did you how how but, did but you after, see that yeah but after it was very important to bring some artists from these new territories to france or to new york let's say and you know don't we we was created bridge between everyone but let's say my chinese artists we never show them uh, uh Okay, one of them, yes, yeah, some of them we show them in Hong Kong, but some of them we show them in New York and in Paris, but never in China. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, and it was interesting in this sense also. So I, when I just looked at this uh, Sotheby's Hong Kong online auction, you know, I had the feeling it was like very dominant, dominant, dominantly um, uh, driven by you. So, but you, you think there's a possibility to really influence a market, not But only to a certain extent, you also kind of react to it, no? To the, the favor. I, I have a very good team. I have a, a good, uh, faithful team. 
And this team have a very good relation with many major collectors in Asia. And uh, yes, we, we arrive to bring them to be interesting by many of our artists. And, and it's true. In, I didn't check Christie's, but I saw, uh, I didn't check, I forgot which one. But uh, at the last uh, uh, auction in, in, uh, in Hong Kong, yes, I was very surprised by the numbers of artists who was showing there on each auction, you know, uh, 10, 10 of my artists was uh, yeah. uh, present uh, during the auction. What was, you know, uh, uh, exciting and for sure uh, uh, give us a lot of responsibility. We, we, we are always afraid when you have too much uh, uh, pressure from the market on our artists. It, it's very important to go step by step. It was the case for majority of, the, of them. And now we have some of them going too quickly. Uh, uh, very successful but let's say that was problem from before you know mm -hmm. some rich problem from before let's see what will happen now you know uh, we have no guarantee of but, uh, anything now but would you say that with these three markets uh, Americas uh, Europe and Asia they're, they're quite different right yes very different and you have to adapt yourself you have to adapt culturally everything every aspect of the gallery to each part, part of the world where you you acting, and for that it's no no better uh, um, advantage to have good teams there. You know the uh, you know the quality of the space is something, but the quality of the scene is the team is a key. And after, if you provided them good artists, if they provided you good artists, all together we are doing a very good job. But technically, to to uh, Asia was a real. Uh, uh, good development for my gallery and uh, you know to be a French dealer after the second world war was considering to be a bad dealer you know uh, uh, let's say when I started my, my career uh, French art dealers was really considering like uh, uh, the, 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 the shadows of what was the, the art market before the war and uh, and uh, don't I I try to international, uh, internationalize my, my gallery, uh, uh, this, despite my uh, very bad English, you know, yeah, like you can hear, because for German people, all the, you speak very well English in general. No, I think you but, speak and, super and, well English now, but when you started, you really had issues, right? When you like started. Uh, you know, uh, I was, yes, my first art fair was in Japan in 1993, because yeah. Japanese don't speak uh, don't speak English so, so well at this time, you know, yeah. now it's better for, like everyone, but... Um, don't, it's, uh, yes, it's, uh, it was very important to be more international and, uh, and to bring my, my very specific program, you know, I, I didn't build a network like some gallery did that, you know, to, to have a real, uh, uh, team of gallery acting together when one was taking an artist, they were sharing it with the same one in London, in, uh, in mm -hmm. Berlin and, and building in a way, a little bit artificially, uh, a real uh, 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 new uh, um, alliance uh, vision of the yes, yeah. an alliance mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. this artist. Yeah, and and technically it was working very well until you know a certain level, and uh, and it was difficult to to make it uh, uh, higher. And, and honestly, and, uh, it it was not easy. Huh? It was not and, easy to do it independently. And now, and now Paris is kind of booming, you know, it's really like the, um, oh. uh, the isn't it the case? Like all the, uh, inter a lot of international galleries came and the, you are, why do you think you that are, is? Each city where we was created a kind of boom like that, uh, London, Berlin, Los Angeles, each time when every gallery was decided to open there because it was uh, you know, the new fashion to go somewhere yeah. like that. It was the beginning of the end, you know. I'm not <laughs> so true. Yeah. I'm not so exciting by this, uh, this boom. And, and the boom not yet happened. Maybe some of the gallery decided to resign on their opening in Paris. We was announcing uh, 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 Auser and Wirth. We was announcing Pace. We was announcing so many. It was a lot of rumor in Paris yeah, about yeah. new gallery. And I don't know exactly what they, they, they feel and, now. And why do you think that is the case, that Paris is so in vogue? Oh, Paris, what, what was strange, it was not the case before. When I was 
you know, at certain point, it was very fashion for many French dealers to say, oh, I'm going to London because Paris is a nightmare. Oh, I'm going to Berlin. I'm going to Brussels because Paris is so difficult. And I was, uh, you know, telling the opposite. I was like, we have a fantastic network of museum. We have great system of train, make Paris in the centers of a huge territory, easy to come to visit. We have a great numbers of palaces, And in the last three, three or four years, it was a renovation or a construction of new palaces like no other city around the world. We have a lot of advantage. We have a lot of problems. We have the strikes, we have the unions, we have a, a tax, a lot of tax. We have a lot of problems, but curiously, when you see all the, 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 the challenge we have to face to be, uh, you know, the numbers of rich people in France are incredible compared to the tax we have, compared to the, the problems, all the description of problems I, I show you. It's already a miracle. It's, uh, uh, it's the France stays a country uh, we have now. I know this is not anymore so incredible compared to uh, what was uh, France before. But it's already a miracle. But for, for the art, we have a fantastic audience. We have fantastic collectors. We have, uh, you know, my last show for Daniel Archard, we get 39,000 visitors. 39,000 visitors during Yellow Jacket, during strikes of uh, subway and, uh, and train, and during uh, uh, coronavirus. We close the show nine days before uh, um, uh, the end of the show, and we get eight. Uh, 108 visitors average by days. Mm, I it's, saw the uh, show, beautiful show. Yes, thank you. Look, you see, Paris has some elements, but again, you know, it's never, you know, many galleries decide to open there for tax reasons because uh, Britain will be not part of European, European community. <clears throat> they need to open a gallery uh, to, to have a, a company inside Europe community for tax reasons, and, and they decide for Paris because yes, Paris was on a good, uh, on a good way. You will have uh, many new foundation open, Cartier Foundation in 2024, Pinot, Pompi uh, Pinot in September. Mm. And uh, yes, it's... Yeah, uh, yeah it's I think, I mean, compared reason. to Germany, it's definitely, it has a lower VAT. It has no artist um, uh, obligation, like social security. Um, and it's more, I think it's the only margin scheme uh, text uh, country in Europe, you know, where you pay the 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 VAT on the margin, right? It's hard, yes, not to be focused. You know, yeah. I start to read your your comments. Oh my God! It's oh, what hard do they to say? Focus on the discussion. I don't so, know. So, so let me let me take some questions here. Um, how do you find new artists? <laughs> I think I, I know. I, I love that question. <laughs> it's totally different now to what. Uh, to what was before. When I started my gallery, it was just by a uh, story. You know, when I started, when I, okay, I was assistant from 17 to 21 and I opened my gallery in 1990 uh, um, at 21 years old. Well, I, I, technically I opened at uh, 1989 at 21 and, and uh, my space at 1990. And for example, the, some of the first artists I, I'm showing uh, are very uh, famous in Berlin. It was... Uh, Alors, Bernard Joesten, Pierre Joseph, Dominique Gonzalez Foster, and uh, Philippe Parreno. Uh, they were students in uh, Grenoble. In, uh, the, and uh, I found them because I was showing their teacher, uh, Ange Lechia, mm -hmm. IFP, and Jean-Luc Villemout. And I heard about their works, I met them, and they didn't do, they, they did almost nothing at the time I met them. It was only to a potential well, that was possible at this time because when you are young dealers, only uh, artists, uh, young dealers without money and without a formal space. You imagine, you need to have a, a real, uh, you, you need to find artists have not so much choice, you know, yeah. to, to convince them. And, uh, and yes, I found them just by a story. Many of the artists I, I, I found at the very beginning was just by description because internet was not existing. Slide was expensive, Donc, to send slide. I was going to, to visit place and met people and uh, decided from very few. When I discovered Damien Hurst, 
It was uh, in a, a non-profit space outside London, fine. maybe in London, but it was looking so far away. Uh, it was looking uh, outside <laughs> for us. But, uh, and, uh, and I organized a group show where four young artists and uh, totally unknown at this time, uh, and uh, Dominique Denis, Dan Banzal, Matt Colichot, and uh, Damien Hurst. Okay. And, uh, and from this group show I did in 1990, I decided to, to show one in solo show was Damien Hurst. But mm -hmm. Damien Hurst did uh, a few works before. And for sure, you have to, to imagine, to dream about a potential and uh, not just to, to decide from what you see because from what you see, it's not enough. But uh, on the case of Damien Hurst, the piece decided me to show him was a kind of ecosystem in, uh, in two glass cubes with in one of the cube uh, head of co and on the other one, some fly, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, he decide the numbers of all between the, the two cubes uh, with a dice. And uh, you have a kind of small ecosystem with lamps to kill fly. Well, it, was, uh, it was a very interesting piece. And, um, well, uh, you know, at the end, Damien Hurst was, uh, 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 six months later, was a big star. And, and me, uh, I'm staying with my small gallery, uh, 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 dreaming of uh, his uh, success. But it was a fantastic experience and I, uh, <laughs> very useful. He was how doing much? DAD at, uh, in Germany also. In Berlin, after, right? Yeah. Yes, in Berlin. How, how much that. time we need to get back to normal art fair business? To coming to what? The question, my ah, colleague, Gallery you... Lucerne, is how much time we need to get back to normal art fair business? Oh, I have no idea. I, you know, I don't try to, to, to question myself on uh, what I cannot uh, manage, you know. We have to work without art fair. That's the point. Right now, the question is what an art dealers have to do without uh, any art fair. In which way can we work without any exhibition? What can we do to come back strong? What, the question is not when uh, 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 and where. You know, let's try to, to be focused to if we don't have any more art fair, if we don't have any more exhibition. And in fact, it's terrible because uh, artists, for many of them, have difficulty to do their art, but some of them can still continue to do their art, you know? And in a way, it's just a moment to postpone. For dealers, <clears throat> We have passion to do to do uh, exhibition. You know, it's uh, it's not just the fact to sell them; it's mm -hmm. also to organize them. It's a kind Absolutely. of pleasure and co to organize no? exhibition, to co-produce, to do to do many Enable, things. enabling. And a major aspect of our work, you know, are you know we cannot do it. You know, uh, we we technically have to just figure out the way to to rearticulate our. Uh, uh, program and it's not very exciting to discuss uh, uh, week after week about oh my god now the confinement go until this day don't we cannot anymore reopen do Maybe. we go to postpone every show or do we postpone the one was planning to be now to after exactly all this? that's it's we very... also wonder if we should move them all back or should we cancel one and Go back to the old it's, agenda. It's stupid question and not very excited. But yeah, and, uh, not, the, and, not, and not able to answer. Now. But but Emmanuel, maybe you can walk us uh, at the end uh, through to your online activities because you called the unlocked, unlocked or what's the, how did you call it? I go to be yes. It's my my team taking care of that. I have to say, uh, I'm I let them uh, doing many things. Uh, I was not exciting to to organize online uh, uh, sale quickly because I don't want to, to, to give the feeling to our clients uh, from one day to another, it's very easy to get all our works. We was always trying to place the works to uh, our best clients, to, to, to the one help to build the career to the artist. Don't, mm -hmm. It would be sad from one day to another to put every speculators, every if speculators still exist now because maybe they are a little bit afraid to speculate right now <laughs> but you will be surprised some of artists uh, can be still uh, uh, difficult to, to get ah, I know, 100%. because uh, 
it's not because in two months, you know, we, we, we have a lot, a lot of problems. Artists not produce so much works, you know, and if you have 100 people try to get this or this piece, you know, but I don't want to look too positive. It's very difficult. It's, it was always a job very difficult for everyone, you know. Many people was fantasized by the, 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 the opening uh, uh, comedy and by the, the life of travel and things like that. But it was also was very, very difficult. And, uh, and for many dealers, it's going to be a very hard moment. And uh, uh, all, all this drama are there to certainly uh, 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 to remind us that uh, it's not easy. But it's not easy on many things. You know, it's not only the art market. What is crazy is we cannot sense anything because in any, in any case, we look uh, selfish or we look... And it's impossible with all the, the comments. You are no, 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 but you're true. Sure. It's it's but I it's think a, what sometimes gets a bit, what, what I think we really need more galleries because in the end we are advocates for artists. And, and, but that's sometimes a bit, uh, because we are like on the top end, it's, it, it, it sometimes gets out of the focus. Uh, I thank a, you so much, uh, Emmanuel. And yes. um, if you thank ever, you if, you. if, if by, by, by coincidence, one of these bananas gets available, I'll buy one. You know, <laughs> you know it's it's curious, but it's many people uh, who was interesting by this banana. But uh, I can sell you a banana, but I will not sell you a banana from Catalan. You know, <laughs> but if you are still open to buy okay, banana, I, how much? How much? How much is a banana? Ah, I have to check that in my supermarket. Sorry, I'm, uh... no, but uh, if you buy, but if you sell me a banana occasion, from Pamontor, the you know, the provenance uh, Pamontor Gallery, I'm buying it. Let's celebrate the reopening of the next art fair to organize a deal on this art fair. I will sell you a banana, but okay. without any certificate of Mauritius. Let we do that. I okay. pay cash. I pay cash. Great. Thank Salute. you. All See the best. You. Ciao, Bye -bye. ciao.